Hey, it's Sandra from asexualized.com in association with World of Quirky and Quirky Academy. How are you doing? Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for all of your subscriptions. I have 33 subscribers already and I've only been officially launched on this channel since Monday and that was around 10, 10.30 at night. So it's not even been three whole days yet. So I think that's really good going. I know some of you have subscribed before um, we even launched, or I even launched, should I say, um, we, because it's me and you really. And so, yeah, it's, it's just incredible. Um, I also wanted to share with you um, about asexualized.com a little bit more about this website that is coming to a screen near you. Um, it's a website that I'm going to be creating myself and I'm going to be um, selling asexual t-shirts on Amazon. Um, so obviously it cost me money to be able to do this. Um, I was just going to do inspirational um, t-shirts, but now I want to do asexual t-shirts too. I thought long and hard about it over the last few months and asexuality has become such a big part of my life. And I've been in lots of forums and groups where there seems to be not enough, um, you know, visualisation in terms of merchandise for asexuals and the more visibility we have the better so i'm coming up um, with designs that i'm then getting designers to create into t-shirts that do so that you can purchase them on amazon and last night i purchased my first two now if the designer goes by what i've said my guidelines for him and um, then i'm sure they're going to look absolutely fantastic these are exclusive designs you won't find them anywhere else you might find similar ones sometimes but you won't find these ones these ones are exclusives and they are awesome and also um i've got an inspirational t-shirt design i bought at the same time but the first two asexual t-shirt designs should be with me in about three days time and then i'm gonna order some for myself um, so I can wear them for you and um, yeah uh, just double check that they are good enough quality for you and um, it's going to be amazing and then we can spread the asexual joy all across the world it's going to be amazing it really is I want sexuals and asexuals to be able to live in harmony with each other um, I thank my sexual friends um, today on Facebook for all their support because I've had such good support from my sexual friends. It's been amazing and I've got some highly sexual friends. So it's absolutely fantastic. One of them suggests I create an event on my, um, can't speak tonight, an event on my Facebook page um, for the launch of this channel. And he said I want to support you and it's been really, really, really good and um, any support we can get is amazing i welcome it wholeheartedly so talking about orientation to last time today i want to talk to you about demisexual um and also demi romantic so these fall under the asexual spectrum so demisexual as you might have guessed from the title is actually um a person that is sexual but they're demisexual. So if you think of the word demi as in semi, so in part, they're sexual. What do I mean by this? So basically they have to form a strong emotional connection with someone before they can have sex with them. A demi-romantic has to form a strong emotional connection with someone before they can have a romantic relationship with them. So demisexuals are still sexual, but obviously... Um, as demi-romantics and demisexuals can take a couple of years um, to get to that stage of whether they, you know, are demisexual and want sex or whether they're a demi-romantic and want romance, that's why they fall under the asexual spectrum. So um, we have the grey A's as well. I'm going to go into the grey A's, a, you know, another time. But the demisexuals and grey A's sometimes go together. Uh, well they're classified sometimes as the grey A's so yeah um, look out for that in an upcoming video but I just want to keep this one really simple so if you think of demi as in semi that's quite a good way of thinking about it and just think it takes them a long time to form that emotional bond and until that time pretty much most people to them are just mates 
they're just friends just mates and that's it they don't feel that deep connection they can't connect with that person on that emotional level for some time often um, although I have had a demi-romantic um, guy that I did meet on a dating site in the virtual world not in real life and he said he was actually attracted to me and he really liked me but again he wasn't in love with me whereas I was quite madly um, yeah had strong feelings for him put it that way so that's how difficult it can be if you really like um, a demi-romantic you could be waiting a long time for them to actually feel the same way about you when I say like I mean fancy love crush whatever you know that's what I mean um, so yeah it can be really hard and if you're a sex repulsed asexual and you fall in love with a demisexual that can be quite difficult because a demisexual will want sex after they've formed a strong emotional connection with you if they fall in love with you that is usually the case so it's really hard I am a heteromantic asexual and I am sex repulsed even though I've had sex in the past so it would be not good for me to fall in love with a demisexual and there was one demisexual that I liked um, but I quickly changed my mind about that took a little bit of distance and then I'm fine with that person now really really get on well with them but yeah I couldn't be with a demisexual because I can't have sex and I can't give them what they need at the end of the day a sexual person usually unless they've got a really low sex drive needs sex if I can't give it to them I don't see the point in dating them or being with them it's going to be really really difficult for both people and life is too short life is for living and you're meant to live it either singly happily or with someone in harmony with them not trying to tussle and you know try and push things and you know you can compromise but to be honest I've compromised so much in my life that I'm not really prepared to do it so much anymore I'm not saying I'm not going to compromise on anything but I'm not going to compromise on the sex thing so yeah it is an asexual uh, romantic guy or another variety shall we say when I say variety I mean it's got to be romantic but there are other variations of romance so how romantic for example um, yeah that begs the question with me I love a ton of romance so I gotta be highly romantic and like kissing so anyway I hope you get the difference between demisexual and demi romantic until next time I want you to embrace your quirky and each other's don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like it don't forget to subscribe below if you haven't already don't forget to leave your comments I love to hear what you think you know um, I have got strong opinions I like to hear yours it's really really good you might have noticed I'm a bit more lively on this video than the last video because I filmed the last one in the morning and I'm not a morning person I'm a night owl and now it's in the evening and I'm alive so it's all good but I think I'm going to try and record more either later on in the day or in the evening like now or even at night maybe haha <laughs> Anyway, like I said, embrace your quirky and each other's. I really look forward to seeing you on the next video. I'll talk some more about different orientations for you. Until next time, bye-bye.